Hi friends, I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, yesterday I spoke about uh, algae and how to control it. And I spoke about uh, the three main important factors that uh, contribute to algae. That is uh, light, nutrition and CO2. So I dwell on the first two factor, light and nutrition, um, yesterday. Today I want to talk uh, about uh, how CO2 affects algae. In fact, I'll go one step further. I will show you how my tank uh, looked like uh, when I was dosing CO2. Uh, but unfortunately, at that time I was not YouTubing and I did not capture video. But I managed to find some uh, pictures of my tank. Uh, when I was dosing CO2. So without much further ado, uh, let me show you the how it looks like. So this is the tank, uh, the same tank that I showed you yesterday, but this was a time when I used to dose CO2 you can literally see the tank is totally algae free. Uh, the greens on the water wisteria is popping out. The red on the red plants is popping out as well. Uh, and uh, the, the tiger lotus is looking amazing. And no CO2 anywhere to be seen. So you could conclude that uh, dosing CO2 will literally remove algae. Now how does that work? So when you dose CO2, your plants start growing very fast uh, and it starts uh, absorbing all the light, extra light and extra nutrients. And this will literally starve algae and uh, they will perish. So this is a science behind uh, how CO2 works in a nutshell. Then the question you might ask is, uh, why doesn't everyone with algae problem just dose CO2? Don't worry about the light, don't worry about the nutrition. That's an excellent question. So the reason you do not do uh, CO2 are number one, when you dose CO2, your plants grow very, 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 very fast. <laughs> yeah. So imagine I have to trim my plant every week and I pull out a bucket full of uh, plants, the same bucket that I was doing my maintenance uh, video on. So I have to trim, uh, I have to literally cut down my plants uh, quantity into half of what you're seeing on the screen. So that is one problem. And uh, no matter what people say, you can grow fish and plant uh, and do CO2 because in nature it's like that. But for a beginner uh, aquarist, uh, to balance the right amount of CO2, nutrition and light uh, is going to be challenging at first. You dose too much of one thing, uh, the entire tank goes upside down and the fish suffers. So if you notice uh, on this tank, when I used to dose CO2 and I have a full spectrum RGB lights, there is no fish. So I had the liberty of dosing as much as I want and then balance it down the next week without having the fear of killing my fish. That's the main reason uh, you do not use CO2. Number one, extra maintenance. Number two, I believe as a beginner, you should have plant only uh, tank with CO2. And when you become an advanced uh, plant keeper, then you can introduce fish uh, slowly. Here you can see my water wisteria, green, no algae. The middle one that you see, uh, this plant is actually the one uh, that is going immersed in my, in my tank. And this is uh, AR. And look how beautiful it looks and how red it is. This is the same plant that is, has become green in color once I stop uh, dosing CO2 and light. 
So I like to conclude. Uh, as a beginner, you can do CO2 have uh, full spectrum high uh, light. In a sense, you can have a high tech setup. But please try with a plant only tank before you introduce fish. And if you are okay with the maintenance uh, every week, uh, trimming the plants, uh, dosing uh, fertilizers every week. I used to dose uh, the Tropica Specialized Nutrition, the green foot, uh, one to two pumps every week. So the green uh, Tropica Specialized Nutrition is for planted tank only, where there's no nitrogen and phosphate produced by the fish. So this green one has nitrogen and phosphate. So if you are willing to uh, uh, trim your plants, uh, dose your uh, dose your tank with fruits uh, um, uh, twice a week, uh, provide a high intensity plant tank uh, lights, then you can go ahead and introduce CO2. Uh, without CO2, high light and dosing will mean nothing. Yeah. But on the other hand, uh, if you want to keep fishes and you want to have plants as well, as a beginner, I would uh, strongly recommend do not uh, introduce CO2 and light uh, yet. Uh, do, a, uh, do plant it first, introduce one or two fish and go step by step from that. Yeah. So I hope uh, this answers the question uh, how CO2 affects algae in a tank. The answer is it totally destroys algae and why people don't use CO2 and I hope you can uh, you can use this information to make your own decisions. Uh, thank you for watching and in this channel I share I try to um, I, I try to put all my years of experience in a nutshell in a small video like this uh, to share all the tips and tricks that I learned in a hard way <laughs> making a lot of mistakes so that the fellow hobbyist like you who is listening to this video and watching this video can learn from it and can avoid those costly mistakes. And I, form, I hope you found this content uh, useful. If you do not want to miss out on such uh, useful information, please consider to like, subscribe and share so you'll be notified of all the future updates. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.